another southern algae lizard from down below in these rocks. This one regrew its tail at one point. Found another tarantula burrow. This one I am also certain is active, but whether we see the tarantula or not, that's another story. This is likely the largest one I've seen all day and is a very nice specimen too. No kinks or anything, no hair missing on its abdomen, nothing like that. But anyway, if it wants to go back in, it can go back in. See you later. School of Pendra Polymorpha, and if I'm not mistaken, there's another one under here. Yeah, there's two. A double flip. Northern Pacific rattlesnake sort of sunning itself on this asphalt on the side. This one's quite dark, and it seems to be uh, sort of flattening itself out for maximum absorption of heat. head right there. I'm gonna try to move it off just so that no one steps on it or gets bitten or anything. It's probably gonna sound its alarm. Come on man, move. Go. All right buddy, I gotta move you. Finally managed to get it on the stick. Out we go. We're better off out here. Oh, look at this, a male Calisoga longitrosis. Pretty cool. Fairly large one too. I think this is the largest male I've ever seen. Very skittish. This male right here is likely not going to make it past this year. After the mating season is over, then it's just going to be uh, done with life. Another king snake. This is probably the smallest one I've seen in my life. Very little guy. Hatchling. Oh, getting musk on me. I think they wiggle their tails like that to imitate Cortalis. Not entirely sure. Nope. Don't go down there. Ew, bro. Oh. I think I managed to get most of the feces off my hand. Anyway, yeah, very nice little king snake. I don't know if you could tell, but the smaller they are, also the darker they are. Like, newborns are black and white, and then the full-grown adults are a sort of chocolate color and white. It's coiling up now. I'm not entirely sure why they do this. Maybe it's playing dead or something? I don't think so, but they do that sometimes. Another male false tarantula from under this rock. Pretty cool. This one's also quite large. Maybe a local population thing.
another Jerusalem cricket. Come here, bud. Medium sized one. Oh, an Encetina salamander and a doorknob, I guess. Is it? Yeah, I guess it's a doorknob. Not sure why, but anyway. These are kind of tough to find in the Diablo range. Oh, sorry about the plane. All right, I'm gonna put this one back. In you go. Another Entitina. This one is quite large. Uh, actually, I think it may be gravid meaning it's pregnant, not entirely sure. Back in you go. Found another one of these blue-tailed skinks under this rock. Oh, ring neck. Hold on, it's slipping down a hole. Let me get it out real quick. I managed to get it out. This one's quite small. Just like the other one, but definitely more orange. Here's another look at that ring neck's uh, ventral side. And you can see this one is also making a coil with the end of its tail. Haven't seen much of these this year, so it's quite nice to have seen two. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and release this one. I'm going to release this guy now. Go back under your rock. This guy was out on the crawl. Managed to catch it. Tiger centipede down here. Blue tailed skink. Oh, Emo Pomotus Pictus. Didn't expect to see you here, but here you are. Interesting. Well, a skink just passed under here. Oh, it's still there. Tried to crush it. All right, it's gone. And under here is a little Hemero Trecha camel spider. I'll get it out for you and show you up close. There it is. There it is up close. And as you can see, it is indeed a sulfugid. I'm still not sure on the species, but I'm positive on the genus. Quite a cool little guy. Second one I found this year. Most I've ever found in one year, actually. Tiger said, said be down there. Tiger said peed, as usual quite common in this sort of habitat. Blue-tailed skink. A little tiger centipede. Oh, a little king snake. Come here, buddy. This one is also quite small and looks to have eaten something somewhat recently in this sort of area of its stomach or whatever intestines those are. Back in you go. Another one of these guys. Pictured Jerusalem cricket. Pretty cool. Second one 
at a spot I've never found them. St. Patrick with the normal ones, if you will. Big tire centipede. Another tiger centipede. Little Strigamia soil centipede juveniles hatched not too long ago, or developed not too long ago, rather. Go for snake. A little one. Ooh, kinda cold. Nice. All right, buddy, back in you go. Not quite. Oh well, they'll figure it out. This is by far the largest burrow I've seen all day. Whether that means there's a large tarantula in there, I'm not too sure. Looks like this burrow could have been taken from something else and then just webbed by the spider. But uh, let's see. The spider is not too large. I think it's just as large as the other adult I found earlier. Hold on. Let me see if I can get out off camera. Managed to get it out. And like I said, this one's just around the size of the other one I found earlier. Nothing too special. Um, but anyway, yeah, there it is. And I'm going to put it back in its burrow. Oh, it's flicking hairs. So for any of you who don't know, tarantulas flick hairs, urticating hairs, that uh, itch when they get in your skin. They're like little barbs. Um, they can also get in your lungs and cause inflammation in the lungs. And then they can get in the eyes and cause blindness, actually. And this is something that exists in New World tarantulas, North America and South America, Caribbean and Central America. she goes. Well, that'll be all for this video. Thanks for watching.